Speaking at St. Dorothy School Massimo, Tigania East constituency, Deputy President William Ruto expressed concern that the huge chunk of the country's resources that go into public servant salaries leave very little for the development activities. We must rationalize public service to ensure that it is efficient and it delivers on the agenda that we have and to release resources for the development of our country. We must manage our recurrent expenditure that is to do with wages and to do with operation and maintenance so that we can release more funds for the development of our country. It is not sustainable. To be affected include parastatals and constitutional commissions that must be rationalized in an effort to reduce the current wage bill. Hii serikali lazima tuiendeshe kwa njia ambayo inatoa faida kwa wa Kenya wengi. Na tumesema ya kwamba lazima tupunguze gharama ya kuendesha serikali. Hatuwezi kuwa tunalipa mishahara, tunalipa magari, tunalipa mafuta ya kuendesha magari mpaka tunakosa pesa ya dawa na ya kujenga barabara. The deputy president who was accompanied by the National Assembly Majority Leader Aiden Duale and his Senate counterpart Kithure Kindiki among other leaders reiterated that the government will ensure the issuance of more title deeds across the country and assured people of Meru that efforts were being made to resolve the challenges facing the mineral industry. The leaders in attendance echoed the deputy president's sentiments on the need for a united front in addressing the development agenda across the country. <laughs> Ninasikitika sana kwa sababu tumesahau na ile sasa inaendelea Kenya hii ni mambo ya kupigania ukubwa. Lazima sisi tujione kama watumishi wa umma. Unataka kuleta na kulainisha hii mambo ya ukubwa, hii mambo ya vita ni nani mkubwa kwa sababu hiyo haisaidii wananchi. Kiingereza nasema if you cannot fight them Join them. Mimi ni join hawa watu. Sasa mimi sioni sioni vita, sioni vita yoyote. Sioni vita yoyote ya kupigana. Niko kwa chama, sijatoka kwa chama, lakini lazima nifanye kazi na serikali. Earlier in the day, Ruto laid a foundation stone for the construction of dormitories at the St. Dorothy's School Massimo where he said land issues in the country should be left to elders to solve them instead of being politicized. Winnie Kizia for Channel One Weekend Edition.